Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information linked and listed in the description. At the end, we will post some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Taurus. Your first card out, strongest energy is the Ten of Swords. Now, this could be your energy, someone you are connected to energetically. Um, the Emperor, Aries energy could be important to you. Could have that in your chart. We have the Three of Wands. Ooh, a hiding one. Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups. Major Arcana of the World card, Fixed Energy, Taurus, um, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio could be important. And more emphasis on Taurus with the Hierophant. Energy of Change, bottom of the deck, is the Two of Swords. Okay. So, a full cycle here in the past from the Ace to the Ten, but different suits. So it's like something started before it even ended, before it even started. <laughs> Kind of the vibes it's giving. Lots of masculine energy here as well. Male or female does not matter. But it looks like something started before it even... Something ended before it even got a chance to start. Even if there was a potential with a particular situation, whether this is work, whether this is a connection, friendship, love. Some of you may be work. Although I don't see any pentacles here. Two, two, six of cups. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. It's almost like it ended before it even got a chance to get started. The Ten of Swords, or something started while something had to end, was still ending. But it's very much overlapping energy here, like right away. As soon as something ended, something else started. With the Emperor here, some sort of action-oriented energy could also be... Um, what's that word? Authoritative? Some sort of authoritative person? Somebody could have walked away from this person? Or because this person had recently gone through an ending, their energy was very closed off. Even though they saw the opportunity for what it was, for something new, exciting. Because this is usually a spark. Some sort of spark that is lit. Some sort of um, beginning that's exciting, that's passionate, that's creative. But like someone walked away from it here with the Eight of Cups. Or it could be that someone needs to walk away from some sort of emotional baggage. Or someone needs to follow their intuition. But heavy emphasis on walking away from something here, especially with the world card and the future energy. That's also ending cycles. But with the three of wands, it's like someone is waiting. Someone's waiting to end, in, uh, end a cycle, although it seems to be already ended. Could be a commitment here with the higher front, whether to a community, a person. Someone's trying to um, preserve their either reputation or their, you know, how they look. It's like they don't want to be perceived as, as a bad person. So it's like a prolonging of an ending here. It's like something been done need to end. Ending, ending, ending. Like be done with it. Someone's waiting though. Even though this new opportunity has already showed up for them. The new direction is already there. Change needs to happen though. Definitely with the five energy. Yeah. Definitely someone that is... um. Not making some sort of move, not making some sort of decision, not moving on based on integrity, their perception of integrity, which is great. Great to have integrity. But when the universe is screaming like this to get gone and you still there, it's not integrity. It's stubbornness at this point, which is very much emperor energy. It's like make the decision. Someone knows they need to make a decision because the two of swords here tells me they've tried to ignore their intuition. The intuition is screaming. They already know which way to go. They already know they need to leave, but they're trying to uh, they're trying to not act like it ain't there, like avoiding the elephant in the room. They won't be able to do it for long though. Two of Wands is making that decisions, making that decision. This is expansion. This is new contracts, new partnership. This is also progress going from the one to the two. So there has not been able to have any progress has not been able to be made because of this person trying to maintain integrity. They want to be the good guy. One, two, three. Six of Swords. More moving on. Some of you, this is a divorce. Some sort of legal matter. Some sort of karmic lesson. That either way, they're going to... It, it can't be avoided. It's pretty much. This person's going directly to the karmic lesson. It's almost like they feel like staying here. They avoid the karmic lesson. Nah. Because you can't stay here. The universe is going to take it from you. 
all this major arcana of ending, no, the world card, means one way or the other it's going to end. You can't avoid the lesson. You can't avoid the lesson. And the lesson doesn't necessarily have to be a negative one. It might be a positive lesson that you're ready to learn, but it's like, someone's avoiding it. But not for long. Six of Swords means moving forward. Maybe to balance, create balance. Moving forward is what's going to create the balance. Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. The past has been done dead, dead and gone. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Healing, wish fulfillment, five of pentacles, withholding, yeah. So I'm you it's definitely some sort of connection. Some sort of contract has already been fulfilled and this person based, do because of integrity, they don't want to look like the bad guy because, you know, this person could be a father, this person could be a boss, could even be a company that somebody wants to sell. But because they have employees, they feel bad. You know, I've been feeding these people, these people depend on me. It's like, but you are being called in another direction. That's This is what, uh, what do you call it? Notice is for you. Give the people time. We don't just tell them, hey, we're closing tomorrow. Hey, we're going to be closing in three months, six months. Give them some time. That way you're honoring yourself, but you're also, you know, being of integrity. Someone's perception on integrity is a little bit uh, skewed, a little bit maybe uh, matrixy, 3D. Because the higher self, there's a there's another path that the higher self that the higher self is wanting you to take or this person to take. But their their perception of um, integrity is a little bit too. I don't know. It needs it needs some updating for sure. It needs to be updated because you can go about integrity can be shown in very different ways, and I think that could be the lesson. Integrity doesn't mean staying where I'm not supposed to stay, or prolonging endings, or holding on to shit for dear life. It's being integral, knowing that you need to leave and giving the notice. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, from some of you, it's definitely some sort of connection. Maybe someone doesn't want to leave some sort of family dynamic. But it's like you're not doing any justice by staying there either. And it's like, why can't you leave and still be, you know, a dependable figure? You can still live your life and still be it. But this is like, just because you move on doesn't mean you're not going to show up for your kids. Is that is that what the, the perception? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Very much giving the same vibe with these two. But that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. There's something that needs to be healed here. Some sort of um, the integrity. It's also integrity to higher self. Right? It's not just integrity to other people. If you have to compromise integrity to self in order to fulfill integrity to other people, it's not integrity. It's It really isn't. It's a cop out. Okay, so there is a new connection here that needs to be um, embraced or get moved on. And I think they will do it eventually. But I also think that is the lesson. Guidance, please. Taurus, open up your heart. It will help you attract the love. What? It will help you attract more love. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't have his heart open usually. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Yeah, that's that integrity. The intuition is speaking and it's being ignored. Very much so here. With this two of swords, the intuition is being ignored. But it's not going to be able to be ignored for much longer. So, good luck with that. Lots of major arcana here. The world card, the higher font. A fiery climax approaches. Heavy emphasis on Aries energy or Aries season, which is coming up after Pisces, right? Mm -hmm. March. April. End of March, April. A fiery climax approaches. So this is only a matter of time. Don't let your pride get in the way. Full moon in Leo. Heavy emphasis on fire energy. Let's put this here. Can't see it. Yeah. So this could be you, definitely, too. I am not, I don't know if this is you, you know your story, which one you are. This could be you. The age of light. You have been training for this for lifetimes. Heavy alignment energy here. Aligning to the higher self. This is kind of tying back to this higher fun energy for me. 
for some of you, this is you, and if, it could be even children. Like, you know, there's love coming in your life. There's, it's progressing. There's opportunity to evolve, but it's like you're afraid of what your kids will think or you're afraid to change your kids. Obviously, if you have little tiny kids, but if your kid's like a decent age where, like, live your life. You can still honor your kids or be there for your kids and still have your life or be happy or have love. You know, one shouldn't have to compromise the other. This is like those people that don't wait, that wait till date until their kids are like, until they're empty nesters. And it's like, by that time, you're like, what? You know, but they deliberately stay alone while their kids are, you know, they deliberately keep themselves as single parents just to not upset their kids. And I get it, but I don't. I get it, but I don't. Because when your kids grow up, they're going to be like, why did you do that? Guaranteed. I already did this. They're guaranteed going to be like, Why? Why? They might throw a fit when they're young, but guarantee when they get to be adults and they understand real life, they're like, why did you do that? Should have been happy. Go date. Go to bed knowing you've done everything you can. <laughs> Someone didn't do everything they could, so that is the reality. We're now we're now doing that. We're trying to now do everything we can because did I do this? How come I don't see any animal oracles? No. It's time to do everything you can because whatever it is, it, someone didn't do everything they could. Be generous of spirit. Yeah. Be courageous. Be brave. Number 37, be generous of spirit. Love is for everybody, not just your children, not just your lover. Everyone can get love. Okay. That is your reading, Taurus. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.